This weekend I'm exploring the LA Farmer's Market for some culinary inspiration. And after checking out some amazing food, I find my calling. The old fashioned funnel cake at Country Bakery. Knott's Berry Farm California used to make the best. These ones look pretty good too. I tried to make them homemade one time and it didn't come out too good, but uh, you can watch what she's doing here. A little technique, just swirling around, hot oil. I want funnel cake. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chef Jason Hill, and today we're making funnel cakes, one of America's favorite fair foods made popular by the Pennsylvania Dutch. Do you really need a funnel to make a funnel cake? Actually, these days I find it easier to use a pastry bag, or you can even pour it into the oil with a little pitcher. This funnel cake recipe calls for three cups all-purpose flour, two teaspoons baking powder, half teaspoon salt, and a quarter cup of sugar. Next, stir in two cups of milk and three beaten eggs. Your funnel cake batter is ready. Okay, I'm gonna fill the pastry bag up with about a half a cup of the batter. Never wanna overload your pastry bag. And just a little point, I like to use a number 12 tip for the pastry bag when I make the funnel cake. There's no need to purchase a special funnel cake fryer to make funnel cake. All I'm using here is a six inch cast iron pan. I've heated two cups of canola oil to about 350 to 375 degrees. If you don't have a frying thermometer, you can tell when your oil is ready with a wooden spoon. Just place it in the hot oil, and if a lot of bubbles form around the edge, your oil is hot enough for frying. You can also flick some water or bread cubes into the oil, and if it sizzles immediately, it's ready. I prefer the wooden spoon method. If you ever get an oil fire, salt, salt. When your oil is hot, drizzle about a half a cup of the batter into the oil, making a circular zigzag pattern. All right, after about three minutes, carefully lift it up with your tongs. You can see it's golden brown. And we're gonna drop it back down in there very carefully and let it cook for another two minutes. All right, it's done. So now I'm gonna carefully remove it and let it drain on some paper towels or if you have a wire rack, that works too. There are many ways to top a funnel cake. Today I'm gonna do it simple. We're gonna do some powdered sugar dusted from the heavens a fair amount on there, followed by a quarter cup of diced marinated strawberries right there in the middle, and then we're just going to surround it with whipped cream. Well, I hope you enjoyed this funnel cakes recipe. Thanks for tubing in. Oh yeah, you're going to love this. I never seen someone so stupid trying to make a cake with a funnel. Oh, I love me some funnel cake. <laughs> You're gonna make a cake with one of these? Do you really need a funnel to make a funnel cake? <laughs> All right, I guess there's enough of those.